My name is Denise Casado. I'm a senior on varsity cheer, and today we're going to be talking about motions and the importance and how to get a good motion and then a cheer at the end. Motions are really important to cheerleading because they're the foundation of everything we do, um, whether it's football games or cheering on any other's team um, or like in a dance and even in your routine when you get scored it's like the foundation and it's really important that we do our motions tight and that we isolate every motion we do and that um, everyone does them the same so that we can get a good score perform better and look better as a whole and as a team another important thing is to make sure that you're isolating each motion when you're doing something like a cheer or in a routine um, it's really important that you like break through them and they're like sharp and tight like if you go from like high to low V you want to make sure that you're really tight and that they're isolated almost like choppy you just want them to be like tight you don't want them to be like flowy. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is the clasp. The clasp is normally in every cheer so you just want to make sure that you have both hands right at your chest um, your elbows are together you're squeezing strong with your forearms your wrists are together and that you're right below your chin so it's just another super important part for any motion is you want to make sure that your fists are correct for my first motion that I'm going to show you guys we're going to do a high V so a high V is just your arms up your wrists um, should be straight they shouldn't be turned down or turned in like that and you should have your um, um, thumb facing outward and your arm should be straight. It shouldn't be like this or like this. It should just be straight. It's important that you have your spacing of your arms right here um, to just be a V because you don't want it to be too wide or too um, together or else that's a completely different motion. So the next motion is just going to be a low V. It's the same thing. You want your wrists to be straight, not in or out. And you want the spacing of your arms to be even, just so it's at like a diagonal. The next motion I'm going to show you guys is just the T. Um, it's really important that you keep your wrist straight and that you have your thumbs facing outward in your fist. Um, you want to be able to see both your hands just by looking forward. So if it's too wide and you can't see your hands, then it's wrong. And if it's to up front that that's a different motion. The next motion I'm going to be showing you guys is a K. So you want one arm at a high V. This is my left arm. Um, and then you want the other arm, my right arm, crossing and you want to be at a low V. And this is K. Um, it's important that you don't like put one too high and the other too low or that they're like too close because that wouldn't be considered the motion. And you can also do the same thing on the other side. So one arm, my right arm up and my left arm down for the other side. So for this next motion, you just wanna keep, um, for the touchdown, you want both of your arms straight up. You wanna make sure that, your arm, that you're touching your ears. You don't wanna be too far out. Um, and you wanna make sure that you're keeping your chest up and that you're squeezing your arms the next motion is going to be um, half of a high V. So this is my right arm and then my left arm is at my hip. Um, this, it's important to put your shoulders down, your chest up, and that you should have your thumbs facing outward. And on this side, you should just have your hand in a fist on your hip. You can also um, alternate. So you put your left arm in a high V, um, making sure that your spacing is good and that your wrists are straight. You don't want them to be too low or too high again because that would be a different motion and then you want your hands to just be by your hip and squeezing the next motion is a broken T so you can just start off by being in the regular T um, with your arms straight and your thumbs facing out and then you're just gonna bend it in half it's important that you don't go downwards or upwards because that just changes the motion and you just want to be tight and make a straight line across with your um, arms Another motion that we see in cheer often is with your arms just like down here and a low touchdown. Um, it's important that you keep both your arms straight and that your thumbs are facing outwards. You don't want to be 
out or two in, you just want to keep them straight in front of you. Okay, so now that we've talked about most of the motions that you'll see in cheer, um, I'm going to be doing a cheer called Flyers Fight. Flyers, fight, navy, and white. Flyers, fight, navy, and white. Flyers, fight, navy, and white. One, two. Flyers, fight. Ready, go. Flyers, fight, navy, and white. Flyers, fight, navy, and white. Flyers, fight, navy, and white. One, two. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on motions. Um, I hope you enjoy all the other videos that the other seniors have to offer. And stay safe.